You're looking at seven teenagers facing criminal charges in a deadly attack the police are calling a hate crime. The youngest suspect is 16, the rest 17 years old. All seven allegedly took part in the beating and fatal stabbing of an Ecuadorian immigrant over the weekend. An attack that took place in an area of suburban New York where tensions over illegal immigrants runs high. Once again, here's Joe Johns. It was an unusually warm night when police say a group of teenagers set out to go, quote, beaner jumping. Their uh, motivation was to find uh, people, uh, to find Latinos and to assault them. And uh, that was what they went out to do that night, and that's exactly what they did do. So police say the boys searched a suburban New York town until they found a target, Ecuadorian immigrant Marcelo Lucero. Police say the boys told them they actually wanted to, quote, F up a Mexican. Those days of noosing, hanging, and torturing should be a thing of the past. Yet again, we're living it today. Police say Jeffrey Conroy, a three-sport athlete, repeatedly stabbed Lucero in the chest as the gang beat him. Conroy faces charges of first-degree manslaughter as a hate crime. I can really tell you how I feel right now. You know, it's like, I just want to do justice right now. His brother said Lucero had come to the U.S. on a visa 16 years ago. He's remembered as the friendly face at the local dry cleaner who played a mean game of volleyball and called his mother several times a week. Once again, there is the blood of immigrants flowing through the streets of Suffolk County. A neighborhood minister said the attack was fueled by xenophobia. In fact, he says the growing Latino population on Long Island is under attack. Houses have been burned down as families slept inside. Several day workers brutally beaten. Across the country, a recent Justice Department report shows Latinos are the chief victims of ethnically motivated hate crimes. When people go out uh, on the airwaves or in print or at the stump as a politician and they beat that drum, uh, they shouldn't be surprised at the end of the day uh, many people out there, and particularly young people who are very impressionable, think, hey, you know what, this is one group we can do this to. As for the victim, Marcelo Lucero, his family blames the boy's parents for the brutal attack and plans to sue them in civil court. But the lawyers for the attacker say bias was not the boy's motive, adding that one of the boys is part Latino. All have entered not guilty pleas. Jeff was like, he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. But to Latinos in this community, the history of these attacks tells another story. We cannot harvest terrorists in our homes. These seven kids are terrorists, and they must pay as such. The question that's already being raised by activist groups in the newspapers is whether anti-immigrant rhetoric has created a climate for this kind of thing. That Federal Justice Department report on hate crimes says Latinos were the victims of hate crimes 61% of the time. Joe John, CNN, New York. Well, coming up, the inside story on President-elect Obama's visit to the White House. What he talked.